Welcome to this Maths Made Easy video on Algebraic Division. To start with, let's take a look at the Factor Theorem. The Factor Theorem is defined as if f of x is a polynomial, if f of x is a polynomial, and f of k equals 0, then we say x minus k, so x minus k is a factor of f of x. So this is a factor of f of x. And we can also say if f of b over a is equal to 0, then ax minus b is a factor of f of x. Okay, so this is a factor of f of x. So, in other words, if you know the roots, then you know the factors, and if you know the factors, then you know the roots. So that gives us everything we need there for the factor theorem. Moving on now to method one, which is subtracting multiples of the divisor. Now this method uses the following procedure. For step one, we just subtract a multiple of x minus k to cancel the highest power of x. For step two, we just keep repeating step one until there are no powers of x remaining. And finally, for step three then, we work out how many lots of x minus k we subtracted and write this as an expression with the remainder. So let's take a look at an example then. So let's say we want to divide 2x cubed minus 5x squared plus 4x minus 3 by x minus 3. Okay, so we're dividing this by x minus 3. Okay, so here the first thing I do is I subtract 2x squared lots of x minus 3. And in that case, that cancels the x cubed term. So we can write this as 2x cubed minus 5x squared plus 4x minus 3 and we minus 2x squared lots of x minus 3. Okay, which we could write then as this expression here, our cubic, so 2x cubed minus 5x squared plus 4x minus 3 and then in, case, in this case then we just expand this 2x squared with x minus 3 so this becomes minus 2x cubed plus 6x squared okay so if we simplify here then we get x squared plus 4x minus 3 okay now we're on to step 2 where we just repeat this process to remove all powers of x so now we start subtracting x lots of x minus 3 to remove the x squared term. So in that case then, this becomes x squared plus 4x minus 3 minus x lots of x minus 3. Okay, and again we just repeat this process here where I'm going to get x squared plus 4x minus 3 minus x squared plus x okay and again we just simplify here obviously the x squared will cancel so what I get left with then is 7x minus 3 and then we subtract 7 lots of x minus 3 to remove the x term so here we've got 7x minus 3 okay 7x minus 3 and we now subtract 7 lots of x minus 3 okay which would give us now 7x minus 3. Okay, that's just this first part here. And then expanding again, we get minus 7x plus 21. Okay, which in this case, 7x's will just cancel. And we get minus 3 plus 21, which just gives us 18. Okay, so in total, we have subtracted 2x squared plus x plus 7, lots of x minus 3. And there is 18 left over. Okay, so if we just repeat that again, we've subtracted 2x squared plus x plus 7 lots of x minus 3 
and we've got a remainder here of 18. Okay, so therefore if we write it out in full then, so we go back to our original expression here, so 2x cubed minus 5x squared plus 4x minus 3. If we divide that by x minus 3, what we get is 2x squared plus x plus 7, and we get a remainder of 18. Okay, remainder 18. Okay, so that gives us everything we need there for method 1 on subtracting multiples of the divisor. Moving on then to method 2, which is algebraic long division. This method uses the same principles as long division for numbers, but for algebraic expressions. So let's take a look at this example here. So the first thing I need to do here, step one, is divide x cubed by x to get x squared. And we put this at the top. So what you should get is something that looks like this. So like we just said there, we divide x cubed by x to get x squared, and we put this at the top, okay? We now multiply this x squared here by x minus 2, and this would give us x cubed minus 2x squared, okay? Now we perform the subtraction here to get 8x squared, and we bring this minus 11x down here, okay? Now we divide 8x squared by x to get 8x, and again we place this at the top. We now multiply this 8x by x minus 2, and that gives us 8x squared minus 16x. We perform the subtraction, and we get 5x, and finally we bring the plus 4 down. We now divide 5x by x to get the 5, and again we place this at the top. And finally we multiply this 5 here by x minus 2 to get 5x minus 10. And again we just do this subtraction one more time, and this gives us 14. And this 14 here is the remainder. Okay, so this here is the remainder. Let's just note that here. So this is the remainder. Now since this term has a degree that's less than the divisor, therefore it can't be divided. So therefore, x cubed plus 6x squared minus 11x plus 4 divided by x minus 2 in that case is equal to what's on top here x squared plus 8x plus 5 and we have a remainder of 14 okay so our remainder is 14 okay so just one more time then if we divide x cubed plus 6x squared minus 11x plus 4 by x minus 2 here, we get x squared plus 8x plus 5, with a remainder of 14 there. And then just a, a concluding note here, if the polynomial that you are dividing doesn't have an x squared term, for example, you would just put 0x squared where the x squared would normally go. Okay? So that gives us everything we need there for method 2 on algebraic long division. Moving on to method 3 then, which is using a formula. This method makes use of the following identity. The polynomial f of x can be written as, so we write f of x is equivalent to q of x times d of x plus r of x. Where q of x is the quotient, d of x is the divisor, and r of x is the remainder. You then use the following procedure. So for step one, you find the degrees of the quotient and remainder. The degree of the quotient is degrees of f of x minus the degrees of d of x. Okay, so we'd write that as the degrees of f of x minus the degrees of d of x. Okay, so just so we're aware of how that looks. And for the degree of the remainder, well, the degrees of r of x must be less than the degrees of d of x. For step two then, we write the division in the form above. Like we can see here in this form here, replacing q of x and r of x with general polynomials, i.e. ax squared plus bx plus c is a general polynomial of degree two. 
For step three, then, we find the values of the constants a, b, and c, etc., by substituting in values for x and equating coefficients. And finally, for step four, then, we replace a, b, and c, etc., in the general polynomial with the values that we've just found. So let's take a look at an example of how we use a formula. So let's just clear everything we've got on the screen here, just so we've got um, a full page to work with here. So let's say then, for example, so if this is our example here, we want to divide x cubed plus 4x squared plus 6x plus 8 by x plus 2. Okay. So we're dividing this cubic here by x plus 2. Well, the first thing we do here, step 1, is we know the polynomial has degree 3, since the highest power of x is a 3. And the divisor has degree 1. Therefore, the quotient has degree 3 minus 1, which is 2. So it's a quadratic. And the remainder has degree 0. For step 2, then, we write the division in the form that we noted before, which was f of x is equivalent to q of x times d of x plus r of x. Okay, so in that case then, if we write this out, what we've got then is x cubed, so x cubed plus 4x squared plus 6x plus 8 is equivalent to ax squared plus bx plus bx plus c times by the divisor, which is x plus 2. And then we have plus d here. Okay. Now for step 3, what we do here is we substitute x equals minus 2 to make d of x equal to 0. Therefore, the q of x times d of x part will disappear, and this will just leave the remainder d here. So in that case, what we get then is minus 2 all cubed, so minus 2 cubed, plus 4 lots, of minus 2 squared plus 6 lots of minus 2 plus 8 and this is equal to d and if we solve for d here what we get then simply for d is this is equal to 4 okay so make sure to do this on your own calculator and make sure you get to the same evaluation here that d is equal to 4. Now substitute d equals 4 and x equals 0 into the equation so therefore what we get here is 2c plus 4 is equal to 8. So therefore c is equal to 2. Just solving here for c, in that case we get 2c is equal to 4, so c would be equal to 2. So in that case what we've got now, if we write say in full here, um, and what I'll do is I'll just use a different pencil just to make this clear. So what we've got now is x cubed plus 4x squared plus 6x plus 8, which is equivalent to ax squared plus bx plus 2. Okay, again we times this by x plus 2. And we know d here is 4. Okay, so that's plus 4. And we could also write this as ax cubed plus bracket here 2a plus b or times by x squared plus 2b plus 2 times by x and then finally we would have a plus a at the very end here okay so plus a there so by equating coefficients x cubed x squared and x well this would give so this would give here a equals 1, so that gives a equals 1, and 2a, so 2a plus b equals 4. So because we know the value of a, we can clearly just solve for b then. Okay, so that's going to be 2 lots of 1 plus b is equal to 4, so b is equal to 2 in that case. Okay, so therefore b is equal to 2. And then finally for step 4 here then, we just put the values of a equals 1, b equals 2, c equals 2, and d equals 4 into the identity. So what I'm going to do here is clear the screen just so we can finish this solution to our example here. 
Again, like always, make sure to take note of what we've got so far. So to conclude here, like we just said, we're just going to put the values of A, B, C and D into the identity. And what that will give us overall, so if we just write our original out here, that's going to be x cubed plus 4x squared plus 6x plus 8 identical to x squared plus 2x plus 2 plus 2x plus 2 times by x plus 2 plus 4 there. Okay, and therefore as a result then x cubed plus 4x squared plus 6x plus 8 if we divide this full expression here by x plus 2 then this gives me x squared plus 2x plus 2 remainder 4 okay so we have a remainder of 4 okay so let's just double check that then so our cubic here x cubed plus 4x squared plus 6x plus 8 if we divide that by x plus 2 then we get x squared plus 2x plus 2 remainder 4 perfect so that gives the solution there to our example and just to make a quick note here then for a level maths you will only see questions involving the degrees of d of x being equal to 1 and the degrees of r of x being equal to 0 okay so that gives us the solution to our example and that gives us everything we need there for method 3 on using a formula and finally we can make a quick concluding note here so the factor theorem can be combined with the three methods for dividing polynomials which will enable you to factorize cubics and quartics so that gives us our quick note there and that concludes this mass made easy video on algebraic division